That worked out. Boom. Hold on. Now I got to get that down. All right. How are you? I'm great. Good day today. It's nice. Martine uh, is now here for a few days, as you just saw in our other meeting, but um, she said it's really nice outside. I haven't been outside yet. <laughs> and I slept, I told you, like two hours last night, and somehow I still haven't been outside. And I'm like, ah, so I'm going to check it out. Well, it's great to see you again. We are talking about a Lee Valley Combine and this academy, getting to the, we, we talked about what you've done in your career, right? We talked about why you wanted to help youth here and why I want to help youth here, but also globally. And now we're talking about how. Um, and then we're going to go into two days from now, we'll have a QA. and a uh, And essentially, like if anybody's interested, you just send us a DM with the questions you have. I'm also going to post when we post this um, IGTV. I'm going to post after that on the story. I'll also tag Mia. But I'll put like, if you have any questions for Tuesday, put them in here. You could put them in Croatian, you can put them in Italian, you put them in yeah. Russian, in English. We don't care. Any language, it'll work for us. Um, but today, let's, yeah, let's get to this uh, volleyball academy and kind of like just tap into the how you see working with these athletes um, once we can be out of COVID and then we'll come to how we're going to try to adjust for just right now to just get the ball rolling. Like, what does it look like for you? Well, I, I think this uh, step, especially in, in Croatia, because uh, we kind of have all limited time with volleyball. It's not so unlimited with other sports. Like Croatia was always more um, uh, dedicated uh, to sports such as football, such as uh, basketball, more than volleyball or some individual sports. So I think this initiative really will, I think it has a potential to give a lot because it will make, it will create additional opportunities for young players, young athletes to learn, first to learn, uh, like, and to be able to step up uh, on a pro level and uh, to make them more ready for like what's happening outside Croatia, what's happening in pro sports, like in clubs, uh, what level of volleyball they can expect, uh, the tactical level, like the tactical, just the knowledge, just the, uh, how you view the game, how you evaluate yourself, how you, uh, what you need in order to, uh, what tools you need in order to become successful. Some kind of critical viewing like of yourself with, uh, sometimes uh, it's highly overlooked here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is everything, right? And and what what we want to do is also come into the fabric of what exists and not disrupt things so much that it's like, okay, we would cause problems with a team or with a federation or anything like that. It's like, no, we want to be like taking your vitamins. You can't eat all of the normal foods you're gonna eat. You know, it's like let's we can be a vitamin for you. And so a lot of that work I mean, will most likely be during the off season, by the way, right? Yeah. yeah. But exactly like what you said, uh, from my point of view also, while, I, while talking and while collaborating together, I know it's also your point of view. Like we, uh, we respect so much what Federation is doing. We respect so much what each club is doing in its own region. It's just like we try to be an additional tool, additional help that will give these young athletes additional time in the gym that not all the clubs can provide for different reasons that maybe it's just not happening. And uh, it's just like additional help that I think that if we find, like if we find each other together, we will find a way to collaborate more successfully and we will find a way to make volleyball better because that's the ultimate goal is to make these athletes better so the national team can benefit, so the clubs can benefit, so they will all compete on some higher level. Yeah, yeah. so like what we're looking for eventually is to, I know for sure I want, the dream for me, I was like, oh, I could live in split and it's nice and warm down here. Okay, it's cool-ish during the winter. It's a bit chilly, but like I grew up in Chicago. So for me, it's like, ah, okay, fine. Winter's like spring for me. Um, yeah. So I said like, how cool would it be 
for this to be the first location that I could really just stay, really build some roots. And that would mean like finding gym space, dedicated gym space and, and, and or time in the beginning. Hopefully, you know, the nonprofit, uh, the start, I know you want to start a nonprofit, um, bring in some money, some funding from the EU, bring in some funding from the States with my background and try to really get some facility where these athletes could come train, learn, but I'm talking like sit and learn educational things like uh, finance 101, right? Time management 101, yeah. picking, picking your teams 101, contracts 101, like how do you sure. think about these things, you know? Um, but also to have a space for parents. So if parents are listening, I want them to know, you know, like you care so much about your athlete and we care about them. And what we wanna do is really just be a source of advice for you to help you help that kid get as far as they possibly can. Yeah, yeah I think this is super important. This is not about exclusion of no one. This is actually about total inclusion of everyone because like we recognize how important it is for these young athletes to get the opportunity, but it's also important uh, for their families to create a support system for these athletes that they can actually succeed once they get this opportunity. So it's all about that. And um, going through like basic stuff, uh, going through some basic stuff like how the professional contracts should look, should look like, what you need to be aware of, uh, uh, where you're gonna invest your first real money um, you know, hopefully yeah. you're not going to spend it buying a car and going around and crashing it or something like yeah. that. You know, it's like basic stuff. Um, and it's life the skills, most important really. part is to, yeah, it's life skills. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the most important part is just to make them, the, the young athletes comfortable with themselves, comfortable with their own choices. And the bottom line is getting better at volleyball because yeah. that's how you can succeed if you're really good at what you do. Yeah. I know personally, one of the things, and I know that you've benefited greatly from this, but a lot of that came at the foundations with, for instance, even your father when you're younger, but learning how to learn, you know? I think this is a big thing and learning how to um, cope, learning how to listen and understand yourself. So like as an athlete, if you want to excel, you can be taught all of these technical things and that's what we want to do with them, right? We want to have you in that, that volleyball academy and say like, okay, here's that foundation and here's how you can do this or that or with attack. If you just make this little tweak with this part of your technique, your production, like your kills are going to go up by X amount or whatever. Um, but also in the same way, helping them understand that it doesn't start and stop there during those trainings, being able to have a smaller groups where you can literally pull that player aside or in front of no one because they're there alone or maybe it's a small group, you just say, hey, hey, like think about your breathing right now. This is how you should breathe. Getting them used to managing stress during learning phases because it's hard, but then also trying to get them, and that's where we go into the combine, trying to get them into competitive environments, right? So we put them with other international pros and we say like, okay, you're talented. You've been working on these things. Uh, we're trying to build these skills. You're learning on and off the court about how to manage yourself, how to manage others, how to be aware of others, how to be aware of yourself and how to know all of the technical foundational and tactical things for your sport, right? Like it's so much. Yeah. Now you got to put it together, right? Yeah. So maybe you talk a little about, I, we were just in that meeting. So maybe you want to talk about the combine and like what we would be doing there and when. Yes, of course. I mean, I'm super excited about a combine because I think it gives like a really, it gives a, a opportunity for young athletes to learn and to work on specific skills throughout uh, throughout each day of the combine. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a really, uh, technical. Uh, first, we're going to assess the, the physical part, the jump, the uh, everything and what you need in volleyball. And you're going to be really monitored, but really one of the better um, physical uh, preparation specialists and coaches. And uh, us, of course, we're going to be there. We're going to try to mentor you hard, whoever, 
whoever comes, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to be there. Ryan is going to be there. We're going to play with you. I'm going to treat you like you're my own. Um, you're, you're like you're my own teammate, and I'm going to make try to make you better. Try to make you uh, accountable for things and try to teach you ultimately. And uh, it's going to be intense. It's not going to be easy, but hopefully, it's going to be enjoyable for everyone because the main goal is for you to be better, for you to learn so much that you come after seven, eight days and you'll be like, oh, something has changed. Like everything has changed for me on in bubble, in, in global terms, right? Yeah. Like I know where I need to go now. Like I know like what I need to do. So first is that. The second is tactical part where we're going to, uh, after five days, I think we're going to go through technical and tactical part of volleyball a lot. We're going to put people in groups. We're going to try to try to address every single issue that we see that one has, and then mm -hmm. we'll try to uh, we'll try to address like uh, common things in volleyball, like some situations. How do you recognize some situations? Basic volleyball situations, tactical situations defensive situations, the transition and everything. So it's going to be a lot. It's going to be like mini encyclopedia of volleyball, but it's going to be a crash course in what you need to do to succeed in pro team. And of course, you're going to be in hands of one of the most talented coaches there are. And a lot of them want to come. They're young, they're passionate, and they love young talents and they want to work with whoever comes and make them better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for this combine because I mean, the last one we had a German U23 national team coach and a A1, he's also an A1 team coach at Rota Robin. And, um, he did a great job. And before that, we had another coach who was with Team Finland and A1 Japan. This year, it's going to be two coaches uh, with German A1 experience, but also German, uh, Swiss national team head coach. Um, I'm really hoping, a uh, shout out to Ruben, I hope you can make it. There's an Argentinian coach over in Kaposvar, Hungary, who's incredible. Love his mind. There's so much that we can bring to this. So not only do you have the coaches, but you have the experienced athletes, and then you have the athletes who are out there doing it every day. So we'll have like Melina Terrell from our agency, who is the number one uh, scorer. I'm going to try and get her back in here. She was a number one scorer in France last year. Uh, we will have, for instance, hopefully Kaz Brown, who was with her and actually made it to the semifinals. Uh, we will have a player who is paying for Targo Biste in Romania. We'll have some players that are in German A1. Almost all of the players are national team background players. And so what's really nice is when we infuse that with the local young talent. So if you're watching this, you're from Croatia, you're from Slovenia, you're from Serbia, Montenegro, Hungary, whatever around here, Italy, Germany, we have a Swiss girl who's 17 who's coming who's very interesting. You know, you're going to be with all of us athletes and you'll have the chance to not only feel encouraged, and supported, but you will get your ass kicked too. And so it's nice because you don't have that atmosphere all the time on the teams you're with because maybe you're on a really young team or you're maybe you're the youngest on a really old team, but on this, we'll have a lot. And we'll end up making it into about two or three teams once we start doing scrimmages. And so it'll be really nice because it'll get really competitive. There'll be assessments for everybody, which is I think really nice. So you'll have like Mia will have you know, <laughs> kept track of these certain points of the, the combine. I will have those coaches we mentioned, uh, people like Anya Spasojevic was just on our last call. Um, they will look at this and be able to say like, hey, you look really good in these areas, these areas, you could work in these areas. Here's some negative things that if you just focus on them and here's the things that you learned during the combine, you can get better at those really, really quickly. And what's cool on top of it is that this isn't just to get better. This is to get seen. Right, So we have coaches all over the world that will be watching this. We have teams all over the world that will be watching this. And I think that's the biggest point for this. So for teams, let's say locally, if your athlete is here, that could be great for you because once their contract is up and you want to do that, that could be an open door for you. But we do want to respect that. I want to mention that, that anything that happens, we definitely will um, 
talk with that player and talk with that team and make sure that nothing is going on that's strange, right? So we are an agency at the, the end of the day. I also wanna say we're not gonna force anybody to sign with our agency. It's not the way we work. We're a boutique agency and nobody probably knows what that means, but think about boutique hotels. Um, we are, we like to basically stay small. We like quality in terms of time with that player. We want to be able to work with you. We want to be able to mentor you. And right now, these combines, these 101s, these talks, all they are is to really educate, but also they're to drive the cream of the crop, right? They're to drive that stronger player, that one that who's brave, who takes the chance and says, I want to be a part of this, you know? So if you want to be a part of this, Mia, do you want to handle that part in creation, maybe? If you want to be a part of it, what do you have to do? Like we will, we will make an application by the way, and we'll put that form in the link for this YouTube version and the IGTV, by the way, today. Ako želite, ako vas ako vas interesira combine i ako želite ovaj prisustvovat combineu, mi ćemo napravit dokument gdje ćete moći aplicirat i napisat sve što vas, napisat vaše podatke, uz put pitat pitanja koja vas sve zanimaju i učit ćemo sve da vam u najkraćem mogućem roku odgovorimo. Naravno, jedan dio igrača koji apliciraju će biti na kombajnu, ne mogu biti apsolutno svi, ali mi ćemo, mi ćemo vas definitivno pozvat i i pokušat ćemo vas svi kod god da se prijavi upoznat, doć, nazvat, upoznat i znači što se tiče slobodnih termina, možete, mi ćemo se potrujiti da svaki vikend odemo u neki grad i da kolaboriramo i da vidimo mlade igrače u svim našim hrvatskim klubovima, tako da se slobodno javljajte i pokušat ćemo se dogovoriti online kad se javite, kada bi se mogli naći vidjeti ili barem čuti preko telefona. Eto ga. To bi bilo toliko od nas, da pa će pozvani ste, da ne morate biti obavezani da aplicirate ako to ne želite, mi bi jako to voljeli, ali definitivno ako imate bilo kakva pitanja, mi smo tu da vam odgovorimo i na najbržem roku ćemo odgovoriti. Na našim Instagram stranicama ćete vidjeti poveznice preko kojih možete aplicirati na mojoj i na Rajanovoj, tako da moćete sve napraviti preko interneta. Awesome. It was funny, there was one part where I was listening and I was like, okay, how much am I going to get? And I think I got maybe only 25% this time. Usually I do better. There is one thing, do you know there is one thing that stood out to me? It was when you said, Bicimo something Svaki weekend, like we will be doing it every weekend or whatever. And I was like, I know Bicimo because I was in that, I was in some movie and uh, we were filming actually in Slovenia. It was really cool. It's about like world championship basketball team from this region. Anyways, you would know about that. It's your basketball family. Yeah. Thank you so much. So everybody look for those, those links. Um, kids around this whole region, if you're talented, parents, if you're watching this, teams, if you want somebody to be able to even just like have that kid have mentorship from, we have monthly meetups where these athletes come together and they talk about stuff. Um, whatever you want, we can do. We are very open-minded. We're looking for open-minded people, clubs, players, parents, everybody. So thank you so much, Mia. I will see you soon. I'll see you in split soon. Yes. I can't wait. Yes. Everybody else, uh, look forward to seeing you in two days, hopefully for our Q and A session. And just make sure to, if you like what we're doing, always share it. Ciao. Bye.